guys, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you the rest of the thrift haul. Well, it was a garage sale haul, isn't it? From yesterday, I think I put thrift haul on the, um, the thumbnail, but that's okay. So today I'm finishing it up, and I decided not to go live because when I watched it back yesterday, just to see how, you know, see, I've been having the problem where the audio and video is not syncing up, so I'm not sure if that has to do with my Wi-Fi or bandwidth or whatever. I'm not sure. So um, until I can figure out why the audio and video, you know, it's like my mouth is moving, but <laughs> I'm not saying anything. But <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I decided I would show you the rest of what I picked up um, just in a normal video and show you the screenshots. And then this morning, Jenny, who does the house cleanouts, had a garage sale. Yes, it's Thursday. Thursday, and Friday morning were the two days that she was having it because I don't know, something's going on Saturday, which is great. So without further ado, this is the remainder of the items that I picked up at the community garage sale when I was out with Tanya this past weekend. And I'm gonna scoot you over so I can show you. Okay, so you know, you win some, you lose some. And so this one ended up being a bit of a dud. I think it's still okay. I mean, I picked it up for a dollar, sealed puzzle, I mean, this is a sold for $7.95, and I looked on Amazon as well, and it wasn't that great. Um, but, you know, I was at the garage sale, so I took a chance, you know, sealed puzzle, it's a dollar, I can, I can risk it. And I think, I mean, I could still do okay on it, because it's sealed, so. And then I picked up this bag full of Legos, and these are those Knight's Kingdom Legos. Uh, and I haven't checked to see if all the bits are there, but, and I paid $5 for the bag of that. And then this is what I'm seeing. Again, not a huge seller, but like this guy, I mean, eight bucks. I guess if I sold one of them, it, it would make my money back. Um, so then you can see, you know, this guy's 10 bucks. These are sold. Okay, good. So I have to go in there and see who all I've got. And there's pieces that I'm not even sure what they are. They're like cards. I guess there's a game. Anyway. Ting. Let me turn that off. So yeah, it looks like it's not too bad. I mean, it's not a home run. I mean, this one sold. They have like these guys all lighted up for forty dollars. So that might be okay. I don't think I have that many of them in there though. We'll see. <laughs> la la la. Same thing. Moving forward. Okay. So this I forgot to mention yesterday when I showed you everything I paid for a dollar when I got the ring that I'm wearing. There's a dilemma in my household about this ring now. Um, so yeah, this was part of the $5 that I forgot to show you. So it was even more, and it's SPI brand. And so I looked it up, this is the brand, and they this is a bunny one that's selling for $42 on their website. And then this is a single kitty, and she had some, some of these single kitties, but she wanted like three bucks a pop for them. And you know what, now that I think back on it, I'm like, she gave me such a good deal on everything, five bucks for all that stuff, she probably would have come down. But at, in the moment, I was just like, what, $3, no way. <laughs> so they're 21 bucks on the website. However, when I look on eBay, so this is, this looks to be the same as this one right here, $9 for the lot of these. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> So, I mean, and here's one that's, I think, sold, or maybe it's still up. I'm not sure. I, I clicked on it, so, uh, for nine bucks. I mean, yeah, mm, I, I don't like that either. <laughs> so knowing me, I will probably put this up for much higher, probably closer to the $20 mark, because I'm, you know, I can wait. And then I can put best offer on it, and somebody can send me a best offer. I mean, I know I probably paid like 50 cents for it, but still. And then I didn't show you this yesterday, or did I? I'm not selling it. Um, it's this little I, Hedwig, this one. I, I didn't get the books. They weren't there, but or the little box. But Hedwig in his, his cage, yes. Um, so that, what did I, I got it at that garage sale where I got the, the three Harry Potter games that I showed you yesterday. So that's being kept. I am going to sell the games, though. So just, uh, you know, be on the lookout for Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> I'm your girl. <laughs> okay, the next up, I picked this up at the same, 
And when Tanya and I did the, the thrift haul together, we both shared some Jim Shore figures of like cats. They look all quilty and she had that pineapple thing too. Um, and then this was there as well. This like pot with this guy's face on it. It's interesting because the inside is glazed, not the outside. I mean, it looks like she did some kind of treatment on the face. It's signed. And the lady originally paid $30 for it. She even told me I paid $30. So I picked it up for $2. And I think it might be like a little planter. You can, I don't know, or put some pens in there. or I don't know. <laughs> but he was unusual. I can't, I couldn't find anything. I think the signature is JSA um, 2010. I guess I should have asked the lady a little more about it. Um, but I, again, I didn't find anything. I saw this, though. I wanted to keep it up. Isn't that awesome? Um, for knitters. <laughs> So, um, I looked on Etsy, I looked on eBay, I didn't find anything just like it, but I, I'm guessing I'm going to put it, I'm going to put probably 20 bucks on him, at least, if not more. If I can find out more about the mark, I did a, a little bit of research. I didn't dig too deep. Look at that guy, 80 bucks. All right, so who's up next? I'm going to go in order, and be smart this time. Uh, maybe. Okay. Oh, 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 this is the cat bowl. Same lady, I picked up this cat bowl, you can see. It's like a calico cat. It's really crazed, if you know what that means. That's like, I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, when there's like cracking and like little cracks in the hairline cracks, but it's under the glazing. So it's really crazed. You can see it along there, these little cracks. But then look, it looks like, I mean, it looks like this is handmade by somebody. It's not signed. But you can see where the uh, plaster and everything is and how they let the glaze drip down and it didn't finish it off. So, I mean, it's, in, it's intentional. So I paid $2 for that. And I don't know, I couldn't find anything like it. I mean, it's I, I have a feeling it's like a one-of-a-kind type of deal. So or there's just a question mark on what I'm going to put on that. More than $2. Um, you know, it's got, it's got a lot going for it. It's unique. It's a calico. You know, I have a calico, but I don't need a bowl. <laughs> I kept that little, I'm going to keep that little calico I showed you all yesterday. That's all I need. It's a little bitty thing. And then I picked up, I just not want to scooch over and show you. Hang on. Hang on. It's caught. Let me see what's going on with my, I'm trying to show you these, but it's not wanting to behave itself. All right, whatever. It's not a... Do I need to reload? Let's reload. This is my I am not amused face. All right. All right, Etsy. Be that way. <laughs> I picked up these coasters with these kitty cats on them. And I paid $2 for the four of them. They are corked on the bottom. And they're not, they're not going for as amazing as I, I thought they might. There. Okay. Um, these are Pimpernel, so of course Pimpernel is a good brand to look for in coasters, so those are going to do well. Uh, I'm thinking I'll probably go the $15 mark, somewhere in there, just because. They're cute, right? People like cats. Some people like cats. I like cats. Okay, then let me go in order, because you know me. If I get out of order, then I sit there and I fiddle around and look for the, the right tab to show you. It's more corks. I mean, not corks, but coasters. Okay, then at the same garage sale where I picked up the the Lego Night things, I'm gonna pick up this box and show you if I can. Picked up. Oh my goodness! There it is. This box, the whole box, full of Lego instruction manuals. And they wanted, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> Pull my mic out. Um, so it was a whole, a whole dollar for the entire box. Um, so my thinking was originally, well, I know that they sell, first of all. But second of all, my boys save them. And then like we, we do quiet time on the weekends. And so they sit there and they like, go through the books and the manuals. Even though they're not building stuff, they like to 
you look at them, I don't know. But I thought, okay, you know, just I'm gonna grab the first one off the top. I'm gonna look it up just to show you that they're worth money. This is the first ones that were in there on top, Alien Conquest. This is a retired set. Um, and the, this is a sold for the two manuals, $8.95. So with all of the manuals in here, gosh, there's at least 30 in there, if not more. More, there's more. Um, not that they all go for that particular amount. I'm getting sucked into manuals now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know, you can see I maybe paid a nickel a piece or something like that. Ridiculous, less probably um, for those. So it was worth a, a try. And as you can see, you can sell them individually. So that's awesome. Uh, so we'll go through and the ones that look nice. I will probably try to sell the ones that are a little tattered. I may just hand over to the boys and they can finish them off. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Is that it from yesterday? Let me finish showing you. There's a few things that I didn't show you yet. And then I'll get this stuff is from today. So I picked up, this was not at the garage sale, but I got this little box at the Goodwill for $2.99. I don't know why. I just liked it. You know, it just opens on top. It's just a little, probably recipe box or something. I just, I don't know, I liked it. It was weird. Um, it's not really that weird, but it's not my style, but I just really, I like the way the lid opened and closed. It made me happy to think about taking stuff out and putting stuff in them, closing the lid. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. And then of course, I like picking up blank books. So I picked up these two. Um, at the garage sales as well. So, I don't know. Again, probably not gonna sell them. I have about a zillion blank books, but I always like to have more. I need to hoard them? I don't know, probably. There we go. Okay, that's it for that stuff. Move this over here. And then I can show you what I picked up this morning at Jenny's. She is, I think, going to be moving. So she's really trying to get rid of stuff. So when I came this morning, she said, Margaret, everything is like a dollar or less. So just, I'm making deals on everything. Um, and I don't really, I, I picked up a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of CDs and I don't really sell CDs, but I thought I'm gonna take a chance because she said CDs are 10 cents each. So with that in mind, I thought, you know what? I can, I can gamble 10 cents and see. So I did. And let me see, they're out of order again. How did that happen? Oh, okay, I know why. <laughs> okay, now I can go backwards. Okay, so one of the CDs I picked up was this, and there are a lot of singles. So that's something else I, I've heard can do well. So this is a Nine Inch Nail single. Um, I'm seeing sold, you know, not a lot. But again, I was able to feel confident because it was 10 cents, you know, totally. I, I spent $14 total with Jenny this morning. So then this one, and if you see a single here that you're like, oh my gosh, I'll make you a deal because some of them are not that great. <laughs> so $4.99, I'm probably not gonna list it, you know what I mean? Because, I don't know, it's, it may not be worth my time. But if the listing's already there, I don't know, we'll see. So this one, uh, I don't even know how you say that. Oh, nail it. Nolan and Kane, and that was, and this one, again, also I was looking, because this one was made in England, and then there were some made in Germany, whatnot. So this one sold 714. That one is a maybe I'll list. The next one, made in Germany, the Cardigans, and it has the song from the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack from back when I was in school. Um, I'm seeing this here, 648, but my, I guess, I guess that's a thing. I don't know. Mine's got this sticker on it and this sticker on it. I'll have to keep looking. And this was just a very precursory search. So this one again, made in England, the Bush Sweet Dreams. There's this one here that went for 99 cents. Uh, I'm not sure that that's the same though, because was it made in England? Is it the, you know, some people want the versions, all the versions, you know how it is. And then this one, Scatman. Like I said, I'm gonna flip through them real fast because they're just somewhere I was taking a chance. That's how you learn though, right? And when you're 10 cents in, you're okay, right? 
So this is Baroque. If it really is Baroque music, I may just keep it and play it for my son who likes classical music. But watch it be something, okay, I think it is Baroque, actually Baroque music. <laughs> and then here we got Echo and the Bunny Man. This one may end up staying with me because it's got The Killing Moon on it, which is a really good song. And there's a, a band called Nouvelle Vogue who did a, a cover of The Killing Moon, which is amazing. Um, so anyway, yeah, Echo and the Bunny Man, even though that one's doing okay. It's, uh, it might stay with me. The next one as well, New Order Substance. That, that brings back the memories right there. Um, so yeah, it's not selling for that great, so this one might end up staying with me. And then, so yeah, I, that one didn't, no. And Garbage, another, um, a lot of singles. So it was a single, this one. I'm just flipping through, you can look and see. Ooh la la, la. 391. Not so great. I mean, what would you do? A lot of, I'm not, I don't know. Spin, spin, sugar. I know this song. Um, this one, I don't know. It depends on the version. I have to look through it again. I just did a really quick sweep to see. I remember them. They played those in the clubs. Yep. Stone Temple Pilots, another CD single. That one did okay. See? 1250. So maybe I'll sell that one. But I mean, for 10 cents each, like one of them can pay for the rest. And then it, you know, that's a good thing <laughs> to learn. You know, I jellyhead crush, never heard of you jellyhead by crush, but this one might do well. So we'll see rare New Zealand mix. This is not the New Zealand mix. I don't think, or is it? I don't know. No. So yeah, <laughs> I'll have to look and see jock jams. Okay. So we'll find out about jellyhead crush and see, I'll do a little more. Then here's a Eurasia one. My mom likes Eurasia. I think Randy does too. Uh oh, I skipped one. STP. This one. Um, and again, I didn't see where this one was. So I'm going to have to look for this one a little more closely. So this one might be a good one. Wait, let me click off solds. Because it's saying zero found. Okay, here we go. Well, see, look, if it actually sells, it might do well. Um, Here's the Eurasia one, and it's upside down, not doing awesome, that's okay. So, those are the CDs that I picked up for 10 cents each, and again, like I said, at, at Jenny's, I spent $14 this morning, there's probably maybe, maybe $2 in CDs there. So, a couple other things I picked up at Jenny's, I have a big tub that I keep Lego in, and this is a big Lego Duplo piece of an airplane. So for probably a dime, you know, I'll throw that in there. And when I do a Duplo lot, that'll go with it. And then I picked up these Crane & Co. Um, card and envelopes. They're really nice with that navy. And then there's like a circle. They're just fancy. Not really that fancy, but minimalist fancy, like schwa schwa fancy. Okay, and then she had some jewelry out. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I usually will ask her, Hey, I know you got that tub of jewelry in the garage. You want to bring it out and I can dig through it. And she said in the past, oh, you know, I like to hang on to it. So I have some for, a, you know, other garage sales. So I have a little bit to put out for them all, which drives me bananas. But this morning when she said she was trying to liquidate everything, I thought, let me try again. Jenny, <laughs> I can look through that, that, you know, tub of jewelry you've got and go through and, and buy some stuff today. And she said, yes. So there I am, 6.45 a.m. Thursday morning, sitting in Jenny's girl, um, driveway, digging through a bucket of jewelry. So the prices that are on here are not at all what I paid because, I mean, she was really slashing prices to a dollar or less most for most things. So I picked up these earrings. And it was dark, y'all. <laughs> so I'm trying to do the best I can with the flashlight on my phone. So I did not notice that these had little rhinestones in them but they were not attracted to the magnet and I knew I was going to get a good price on them so I went with it so I picked up those and I don't have any prices up for you so I can just kind of guesstimate what I would sell them for um I, I'll probably put the $15 range on them unless I find a mark I don't see one but I haven't really um gone through them with a fine tooth comb this whoop, this one is a Kenneth Cole reaction watch I did pay two bucks for this, 
This one, she said, was hers. This is leather. I thought it was just like a plastic, but this is actually leather. Okay, cool. I didn't take it out. She just said, oh, it just needs a new battery, Margaret. So I don't know that that's going to go for a ton. It, it looks, it's looking better now that it's leather. That's for sure. So we'll see. That's not really, I don't, I don't know that that's the style that people are wearing nowadays, but that's okay. Got some more. They say the bag says sterling silver hoops. And again, I did not pay the price that's on there. Um, they are not attracted to the magnet. Oh wait, there's a mark. Okay. There's a mark there. I don't know if you can, you won't be able to see it probably. I can barely see it. It's right on that little part. Um, so if those are sterling, do they suit me? Probably not. They might suit me. I don't have babies anymore. Not baby babies that'll yank them out. So yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll see. Um, so pick those up and if they are sterling silver, I'll either, yeah, I'm not going to keep them. I'm going to sell them. So, hmm, probably $15 or so. We'll see. I'll have to do a little more research. I want to make sure too. This is one earring, one hair, one pin. <laughs> so let me show you what is in there. This is a hat pin or a hijab pin, depending. I will put both on there. It doesn't have a bottom, but that's okay. I think I have some in there in the other room. And then this is a lapel pin. But I also, you know, little short pins like this, I also label them as hijab pins. If you don't know what a hijab is, that's what the, the girls wear on their head, the headscarves, you know. And sometimes they like to put pretty pins, you know, and stuff to, to pretty them up. I don't know. So I, I also label these as hijab pins, just in case, you know. This is, I don't know, that stone in there is really interesting. It's that green with the pink. And I know I've asked about that, that stone before, so I'll have to go back and look. I can't remember. We have a new group on Facebook, the Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group, where we, you know, we throw up the things that we find and we, we help each other identify what they are and also learn in the process in case we don't know. These earrings are cool. Look at them, okay? Look, those stones, I, I, it's not capturing it in the light, but like when the light's coming through it from the window, they're like this purpley, an orange, I, I can't even describe it, you know, almost gradient. Let me have to keep these bad boys. And then look at this. They look like earrings you would get from like the museum catalog, you know, the Museum of Natural Science. They're kind of small. I don't know. They're pretty. So I would probably, they do, they look like museum earrings, fancy museum earrings. I, I would probably put them in the between $20 and $30, possibly more. I may have to look them up. I've got to figure out how to catch because it's not capturing it for you. I can see on the screen, but when I'm looking at it right here, it's just amazing. They're so pretty. Um, so those ones will go, I think, for good money. They're so unusual. Okay, so that's that so far. Let me show you the rest. What time are we looking at? Okay, good, we're good. <clears throat> then this necklace, oh, it says earrings and necklace, three fifty, but I think maybe a dollar was... They don't match. Okay, good. This is the necklace. I didn't take it out of the bag. I just liked all the different colored beads and stuff on it. So that is this necklace. Really pretty and clinky and colorful. Not my style, but I think somebody will like it. Right? Right, okay. There's that, and then these are the earrings that were in there with it. I don't know about this, but that's okay. They'll probably end up in a lot. And whoever's jewelry this was, they wore the same kind of, I won't say perfume as my sister because my sister, it's not exactly perfume, it's like an essential oil blend that she smells like. <laughs> yep, she's crunchy. <laughs> and then necklace, 50 cents. This one, I went ahead with it because it was not attracted to the magnet. I mean, they're just like these little plastic beads, but then when I got home, it was attracted to the magnet. So, meh. this will probably end up in a lot. I don't think she charged me not even 50 cents for that. Where I've got all these empty bags now. Ooh. These two brooches, 50 cents. There's this blue one. And then this one, bummer, is missing one or two stones. It's missing a stone up there. 
and it's marked down here. And I was trying, trying to figure out what it said, but I couldn't. <laughs> But it's missing a stone, so it'll it'll end up in a lot. There's a winner coming up. Just wait. Um, this ring, I think, is missing one. But I liked how, look at these. It's like a little cluster of beads on a ring. And it's missing one. There's one loop there without a something hanging off of it. But I don't think that that'll bother maybe whoever buys it. It's got plenty. It's got plenty. So what did I pay for that? Probably 50 cents. And I will probably put it, you know, maybe 17, 20 bucks, maybe more. Again, I haven't done any research on this stuff, but I can tell you what I bought it for and guesstimate what I'll sell it for. Okay, here's some more earrings, three pairs of earrings. It said $3, probably paid a buck. These ones are really pretty. I really like those. Why do I do that? <laughs> maybe you'll tell me. Um, so yeah, those ones are nice, pretty red, dark garnet. Those ones I'll sell. And I mean, without any research, I'm thinking I'll put probably in the $20 range on them because there's lots of really good keywords that I can use for those, you know, gothic and et cetera, et cetera. These ones are sterling silver. So yay. Well, they are marked sterling, I should say. But... There's actually something else. TM925 is what they're marked. They were not magnetic, so I will test them out to see that they are, to make sure that they're sterling before I listen that as the as that. And if you can see the little gray stones in there, they're faceted little gray stones, it's called marcasite. So it's got these little marcasites in there. <clears throat> and then these ones are also possibly sterling silver. They are marked, um, and then the backings, let me show you the backings. See how these, the backings look like little flowers? I don't know, I tend to find that they're a little nicer quality when I, when I see that, I don't know. So those ones I'm going to test out. I got my black nails now, y'all. Um, so yeah, those are really pretty, I think. So uh, again, I don't know. Depending, I mean, even though they may be sterling silver and they're marcasite, uh, I don't know, probably in in the $25 range, we'll see how, how they do when I clean them up. And then these, same thing. I think these are gorgeous. Aren't they? Oh my gosh. Don't do that, Margaret. Those are gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> I think next up. I'm saving the best for last, you know. This one, two necklaces she charged me, I think a dollar for those. Um, one of them has got like the ohm sign, the that ohm, and then it's on a leather strap, which seems a bit... <laughs> if you know Buddhists, and I know Buddhists, leather does not comply. So that's a bit strange, unless it's faux leather. Well, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So that's interesting, an interesting choice for a Buddhist pendant. These are going to be tangled up. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it sells. It's got a mark, so I'm going to have to look that mark up. X and then a little C with a line under it. Backwards C. No, no, not backwards C. It was backwards because I was looking at it in a reflection. And then this, look how pretty this stone is. I mean, it's not stone. It's like a glass. There's a plastic. Can't tell. I think it's glass. Um, faceted glass on this other leather strap. Look at that. You can see like my eyes. Where is it? Reflected, refracted. Ooh, that's creepy, right? I got an eye on my cheek. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so those are, that's pretty cool, I think. So that's, that's really cool. I kind of like playing with it. Whoa. Ah. Okay. <laughs> So those, I think I paid, what, like a dollar for both of those. This one, I'll probably put in the $15 range. I have to look that, that sign symbol up. Same thing for this one. I don't know, but I think, you know, I'll have to find some good keywords for that because it's really elaborately shaped, faceted, green, like that peridot green color. But it's not, it's, it's dyed, I can tell, from the edges. Okay, so next... 
Let's see what I'm gonna show you next. Do, 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 do. This one was a dollar as well. It's earrings and necklace. The necklace has got one like a swallow sort of look to it on these green beads. It's just a costume jewelry type necklace. So maybe, maybe 15 bucks, somewhere in there. These earrings, I don't think they match that. No, they don't. But they look like that with a swirly. These may end up just in a lot. I mean, they're okay looking, but I don't know. I don't see anybody going, whoa, I need those. Okay, now this one I paid about 54. I remember her punching that in. And it, it's kind of pretty. It's got earrings as well. It's this green glass beads, if you like glass beads. And then this pen, like pendant here, not even a pendant, kind of like a little bib type thing with a drop crystal. Really pretty, I think. And then they've got matching earrings to go with. I'm gonna use this for my thrift haul throwdown. I don't know, I've gotta find the prettiest necklace for the thrift haul throwdown. This may go in reserve in case I don't find something better, but I think it's really pretty. Gosh, I bet Nick's gonna find something awesome. Okay, we'll see. So that one, um, I would put it closer to the $30 level when I go to sell it. I have to do a bit more research and look for marking. Oh, did you, there is a marking on it. What does it say? Uh, something 925. I can't read what's above that. So I'll have to get the, the loop and see what, what it says above the 925. Two more things, three more things. Got these little hair combs. And they have this abalone inset um, in this silver on the combs. Those were 50 cents. And I will probably ask in the, you know, like $15 range, which is really nice. I mean, if you think about everything, I spent $14 for all the CDs, all the jewelry, uh, you know, everything from Jenny this morning. So, I mean, when these sell, if, I, if they sell for the $14, $15 that I put on them, you know, I think the lowest I would go is eleven ninety nine or so if, if I did best offer. So, and then this bracelet paid probably 50 cents for. And it, yeah, it's got these roses and then this black lacquer enamel. It may just be painted. It may not be enamel. Oh, it's broken. Son of a gun. Okay. So this will probably end up in a lot. But I was going to talk to you a bit about, it, it may be Cinnabar, but I don't, I need to figure out a test to see. Um, if it is cinnabar, and even if it if it is cinnabar, uh, it might still sell even though it's messed up like that. So I will have to let you know if it ends up being truly cinnabar. I mean the 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 carvings are really nice on it. Let me find that bug. There's like a bug, flowers. You know, there's another little bug, really cute. Where is it? There it is. So I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But it may just be a fakey fake. It probably is the way that it chipped off like that. I don't know. If you know Cinnabar, let me know. Okay, two more. These earrings, which I also think are pretty, like this. They look like that. And they are marked LC. And I don't know what that stands for. LC right there. She thought they were reversible earrings, but I don't think so. That's just the way they are. They hang like that. Not bad. So they, they, they're like some kind of almost enamel in there with a little etching. I don't know. So these ones I paid, I don't know, maybe a dollar for or less, probably less. And I don't know. They were, they were unusual. I have to look up the LC. So they may go for, again, in the $15 range or so is what I'll probably put on them. Unless I learned something different. Now, the piece de la resistance. This was in the bottom of the box, it, and it was not in a bag. These were in a bag, marked a dollar. They are sterling silver, and they are lapis earrings. And then this necklace is also sterling silver and lapis. And my husband said I should keep it, but I am not going to keep it. So yeah, sterling silver, lapis, 
necklace, really pretty. I've got to do a bit of research, but I'm thinking at least $30, at least if not more, probably more because lapis can go for good money. And this lapis, in, in one of the other videos, we talked about the lapis that has the pyrite in it. So it has like little gold flecks. And that is more desirable than the lapis that has the white calcite in it, which some of these do as well. So they're kind of all mixed. So, like this one's got a bit of white in it rather than the gold flecking. So the white is the calcite in the stone. So cool. I learned something new last week. Look at that. Ooh, that would be pretty. Okay, let's make this happen. I can't. There we go. Ooh, that would be pretty. If I was like 20, maybe if I was younger, I could pull it off. <laughs> okay, so that is the haul. I think I did really well. And um, yeah, so Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am Margaret. I do videos about reselling, making money online, haul videos, sales videos, and sometimes fun unboxings and things like that. So I'd love to have you come and subscribe and be a part of the Texas Gal family. Uh, <laughs> and anyway, if you want to find me, I'm on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I'm also one of the admins in International League of Thrifters, amongst others. And I would love to have you join us and learn along. So yeah, make sure you hit that like button, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.